Instead, the master called Julian to finish the portrait of him. It was June 19, 1912. Now, earlier that day, the master had passed Julian and myself on the stairs. We both remarked that we felt a peculiar power in his step as he passed, as though some terrific force had possession of him. Oh, it was a force too strong to be caged in a body. Later, when Julie was putting the finishing touches on the portrait, the master closed his eyes and dozed off. Julie put down her paintbrush. What she saw was too sacred, too formidable to portray. And then, with a great flash like lightning, Abdu'l-Baha opened his eyes. The room seemed to rock like a ship in the storm with the power that was released. The master was blazing. A thousand veils, concealing his station as the center of the covenant, had suddenly been burnt away. And we were exposed to the very flame itself. Herald of the Covenant, he called her. Never will I forget that moment. The flashing eyes of Abdu'l-Baha, the reverberations of his voice, the power that still rocked the room. God of lightning and thunder, I thought. Then his voice boomed. I appoint you, Lu, a herald of the Covenant. I? And I am the Covenant appointed by Baha'u'llah, he said of himself. And no one can refute his word. Go forth and proclaim, this is the covenant of God in your midst. A great joy seemed to lift Lua up. She looked like a winged angel. Oh, recreate me, that I may do this work for thee. The master then sent Lua downstairs to proclaim the covenant to the friends. When the ocean of my presence hath ebbed, and the book of my revelation is ended, turn your faces toward him who hath branched from this ancient root. The master soon followed Lua downstairs, and then spoke himself about his unique station as center of the covenant. It was then he declared New York City the city of the covenant. Then, to underscore this historic declaration, Abdu'l-Baha instructed that Baha'u'llah's Tablet of the Branch be immediately translated and read aloud to the entire gathering. The believers crowded into the room. Some even sat on the stairs listening attentively to the words of Baha'u'llah. There hath branched from the Sadrat al-Muntaha this sacred and glorious being, this branch of holiness. Well is it with him that hath sought his shelter and abideth beneath his shadow. Render thanks unto God, O people, for his appearance. For verily, he is the most great favor unto you, the most perfect bounty upon you. And through him, every moldering bone is quickened. Whoso turneth toward him hath turned toward God. And whoso turneth away from him hath turned away from my beauty, hath repudiated my proof, and transgressed against me. He is the trust of God amongst you, his charge within you, his manifestation unto you. We have sent him down in the form of a human temple. Blessed and sanctified be God who createth whatsoever he willeth through his inviolable, his infallible decree.
Blessed thou, O King of Kings, the city of New York. Cause the friends there to be kind to one another. Purify. City.